back in the 1800s, billiards in the United States became a phenomenon. Everybody wanted to play pool. And there was a very famous billiards player who noticed that we have a bit of a problem here and that the billiard balls are made out of ivory in this era. He realized that if, if we lose these elephants, we lose our game. So he put out this $10,000 prize for somebody somewhere to come up with some sort of synthetic solution, a replacement for ivory. And this went out and plastics were invented because of this, this call to action by this billiards player. Um, I think there was some question whether he actually paid out the ten thousand dollars i think he might not have um to uh to the person who invented this but this was a a very very early plastic that was not very easily mass producible and then when you get up into the world war ii era the united states military is desperate for materials that they are not able to meet with natural means so the military went all in on plastics that's when it started creeping little by little into our lives and, and production really really ramped up so it started with billiard balls i didn't get to the explosions part that's very important <laughs> uh when there was so, uh, this very early form of plastic was highly explosive uh so sometimes when they were playing billiards with these synthetic ivory balls um they would explode like it's a percussion it feels like you you could have had a dual military operation there right like the military is interested in plastic it's explosive perfect you could have just dropped billiard balls from airplanes <laughs> and and left it at that 